You're very welcome back to the show. And on the panel today, we have author Caroline Grace Cassidy from MMA Connect TV. It's Lydia Daydal. And finally, it's independent councillor Fiona McLaughlin. fixing up McLaughlin. jobs like this. Yeah. That, that, you know, yeah. Goes so I just wrong. look at it from, like, I'm so active. And, like, obviously with, with jiu-jitsu and MMA and stuff, like, all the girls I'm surrounded with, like, that are, have big boobs, they're like, like natural big yeah, boobs. Yeah, they're yeah. like, oh, I wish I didn't have them. And we try everything to like, you know, wear in sports bras yeah. and some people wear two sports, two bras. sports bras. It's just, uh, oh yeah, I just, I know, I don't understand it myself. Because yeah, yeah, exactly. obviously the, the, the fat shaming on airplanes is, is yeah. all over the place at the moment. I wonder what she does for she like... She can't even sit in the back of a car. Car, oh. exactly, yeah. Can we get divorced? Can we have a divorce party? Please. We just can get divorced too often. I'm still single party. Absolutely, yeah. there's an idea. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I think it's kind of like a natural thing. You know, m my whole thing on it is uh, everyone gets so hysterical now about everything. Yeah. Everything offends somebody. Yeah. But if you look, like when I was younger, when my mom used to get ready, you know, she'd have her makeup. I remember being in the mirror and, you know, like trying to put on using her eyeshadow and stuff. And it's, it's a bonding thing. Blue eyeshadow. Blue, <laughs> blue, I, blue, blue eyeshadow and blue eyeliner. Absolutely, like a classic. Uh, and a pink lip. But uh, you, I, I actually saw the video with Harper. Um, and it is, it's like a steam facial. It's just like, you know, giving her the feeling of feeling special and being with her mom and getting the treatment. I understand from the concept of she's too young, you're, you're promoting promoting, you know, looks and beauty at, at this young age when she's so young, but it's inevitable that she's going to be surrounded by that. Her, her mom's a fashion designer now, you know what I mean, and the world that she lives in, each each their own. I, I don't think we have a right to comment on she's how people... She's a bad people, mother. Yeah, yeah. that she's yeah. a bad mother. And people are, are saying she's a bad mother. Yeah. She's clearly she's a bad not mother a bad this? mother, come on. Yes, well, the rule I... to follow is that if it's, if it's, you know, if it's got more than three or four ingredients on the pack or, you know, stay yeah. away from it. Mm -hmm. Like, a big part of, obviously, sport nutrition is, you know, your proteins and your fats, but it's real food. It's, mm. it's real protein, real fats. What, a bit of chicken, a bit of brown rice? Chicken, your something? avocados, not even your, not even your rice, you know, like... Real food, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think the biggest thing that when, especially with, with you know, my friends stuff and they they find out about a particular product or, you know, that's not really that good for you and blah, blah. Like, the, the information is out there. You just have to educate yourself yeah. on on what's, what's good for you, what's not. And don't be so surprised that, like, you know, foods companies, that media companies, that things are, that, are, that are out there that are, are selling you a product, selling you a certain way of life, that, it, that it's... If they're not good for you, that you know they mm -hmm. get so shocked on it. Of course, people are going to try and make a profit off it. You know, you yes, have to on this though with Tory Spell, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have kids, so maybe I don't have the like sentimental, you know, mm. maternal uh, impact yeah. on it. But like Tina, like, like, see, like <laughs> Tina does, yeah, like Tina. But I, I, I think it's fair. Like obviously, it's not fair game to talk about people on the internet, and we all know about trolls, and you know they need to get a life, and it's it's a reflection of themselves. But I think if you put your children on the internet and you have a profile mm -hmm. like hers, then you can't complain about it. I agree. Do you know what I mean? It's very easy. Like she profits off having her children on her Does Instagram. Does she though? Yeah, because she's got a reality TV show on Home Life with Tori Spelling, mm -hmm. so it has her kids on it. Do you know what I mean? In the mm -hmm. same way, that that's that's my thing on it. It's very easy to I'm not. I'm not so saying, yeah. isn't it? You yeah, know, yeah, if you're yeah. gonna do it, you're gonna get it. Went on the record after all that show was finished to say that you know the the trauma of growing up in the spotlight and coming home and like needing to maybe vent to like a parent and having a camera crew in her house, you yeah. know. And then she got obviously her her her. Um, she was fat downward, shamed quite a lot. She yeah. was fat shamed. Her downward spiral into drug addiction is documented heavily, you know, and prescription drugs where she used to, you know, just want to numb her emotion and numb, numb the feeling. Yeah. But I, I think.